This guide shows you how to transfer movies and TV episodes to VLC player on your iPad, iPhone or iPod Touch. First of all, you need to ensure that uh, a VLC player is installed on your iPad, iPhone or iPod Touch and also that iTunes is installed on your computer. Um, there are guides, video guides on here um, which show you how to uh, install both of those. I'll put those links in the description. So first of all, we click on the start button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and then type iTunes. And then under best match, it should say iTunes desktop app. Left click this once, let iTunes load. This might take a while. Then the next thing we need to do is we need to plug in our iPhone, iPad or iPod touch into the computer, which I'll do now. That again might take a little while to uh, install. Now it's saying here there's a new version of the software available. I'll do that later. I'm just going to cancel that for the moment. And it's uh, come up again. I'm just going to cancel that. Okay. And then what we're looking for is this little iPad icon just up here. So I left click the iPad icon. Then I left click apps just here. And then I, after a couple of moments, the app should appear in this box just here. Um, when they do, there you go, I can scroll down and I go down to VLC player or VLC. I left click VLC, okay, and I scroll down a little bit further because there's a box down here that says add file. I left click add file. So I can browse to wherever my videos have been downloaded to on, uh, on the computer or as at the moment I'm in the right place and what I want to do is I want to add this iPad guide to uh, to my um, I, my VLC player so I left I double left click on iPad guide and it says they're copying iPad guide and it's now been added to VLC player and that's it I can now come out of iTunes by clicking the cross in the top right hand corner now you may be wondering why I use VLC player. Well basically it's because I can fill my iPad up with movies when I go away on holiday and uh, I can then delete them straight from VLC player. I don't need to resync them with iTunes so I can free up more space. It can also play HEVC movies and H.265 movies which take up far less space than, uh, than, than other movies. So it's pretty good from that respect but uh, anyway hope this guide helps